What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Loverfella, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Guys, this server is such a freaking blast to play on right now. Like, I cannot believe how awesome it is, how much fun I'm having, how amazing my tribe is. Although, I've heard we've had some passive killing issues in our tribe, so I apologize to anyone we've done that for. But hopefully, everyone out there playing who's lost dinos to passive killing, which has happened to us on multiple occasions, Hopefully you guys are not too mad about it. Um, a lot of times when you raid, you can't avoid it. It has to happen because you might put dung beetles and you're like a vault and someone blows it up or like small things happen. Well, guys, we're at like a 10 times rate server. So, oh, the elevator's up there. We're at a 10 times rate server, so it's not a big deal. If you lose something, it, I mean, no matter what you lose, it's really not that hard to get back. This base is... Um, uh, basically the work of my 15 tribe members and I we've got several patrons in our tribe and on the topic of patrons real quick or pa patrons patrons I think that's what they are um, if you check out that page and you donate to me, we have a whitelist so I can get you on the server even if the server is full. If you donate a couple bucks, um, I think it was like $5 for the patron list, um, you can get in whitelisted. So you'll always be able to join even if the server is full. So I know uh, people have had trouble joining. Uh, I didn't expect this many people to want to play. But um, it's pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. And I'm just kind of walking around right now showing you guys what our base looks like on the inside. Um, I guess all those people that hate us for killing dinosaurs probably will use this to destroy us. But... This is what we got. Um, started off with a small metal room in the center. Um, we added a little shell on the outside, and this is kind of what I did on my first day here by myself. And then other people came along, added these two outer layers here. And of course, we have turrets on the inside, turrets on the outside. And then I'll show you guys something really cool I did. You actually might... Oh, that's interesting. Uh, you might actually add this to yours. It's kind of a cool idea. I've talked about how a lot of times people aren't prepared for raids. Um, people aren't ready for people to raid you. Well, what I've done here, and it's going to be changed here, but I, I wrote a sign. I said, leaving base, don't forget to bring your parachutes, bolos, grapple hooks. Use the vaults to the right. And so over here, we have a vault full of armor. Um, all the armor is split into whatever you're wearing. And then, of course, my tribe mates kept it nice and organized for me. Um, we have range weapons here, ammo here, melee, uh, miscellaneous things right here. This is going to include your parachutes, your grapple hooks, which we apparently are out of, bolas, um, sleeping bags. Yesterday, I was hanging out with my girlfriend while she was here, and I honestly spent maybe like, I don't know, I spent like three or four hours collecting materials just to craft like two or three hundred bolas, parachutes, and everything, grapple hooks. Just took so long to craft it. But... This is the base. Um, what I'd like to do now is add like another shell on the outside so they break in, have to keep breaking in through turret shells. But I do really like the way the triangles look. It gives it like a really menacing just appearance on the outside. We've got some turret towers. This little guy over here must be like our forge. And then we're adding some expos, which we picked up from some drops. So all in all, this base is really cool. Um, I I'm really happy with it. I think it looks incredible. And I'm, I'm able to actually create a really long series here. And I'm pretty sure we're alpha. Maybe there's some like hidden guy somewhere. Um, I know in the past when I've claimed to be alpha, it's not gone well, but I think I think we've, we're doing pretty good right now. So the tribe has done a lot of great stuff for us. And then right here, I think I showed this in a little montage yesterday, but boys, we got us an elevator, and I've never had an elevator in my life. But look at that. Come on, you can't, you can't act like you're not impressed. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. But anyway, guys, I hope you're having just a fantastic day right now. Tomorrow, for a lot of us, is the start of something new. A lot of people in America, I don't know about the rest of the world, but I know a lot of Americans tomorrow will be starting up their first day of the new semester, the new school year. Um, for me, I will be starting up my first day of work. So by the time you see this video, I will have almost worked an entire full day. Going to bed tonight reminds me of why I put so much effort into my videos, why I try so hard to make the most amazing videos I can because one day I hope that I can do this I hope that I can just do these videos and I'm not really even close right now but we're getting there we're getting there and I, it just reminds me like you know every single day you go up you get to work it gets monotonous it's repetitive and for me it feels like it's just like a waste of what I can do like I feel like I'm not using my potential at work I know you guys may not care about this but it's just a big deal starting up work again getting back at it for eight whole months um at least we'll be bringing in the money, so maybe I can get that Xbox at some point, uh, pending I pay off those 70000 in student loans. But anyway, what I'm kind of do right now is I'm going to try to see if we can tame something. I was thinking giant squid, but probably not right now because I'm by myself. And um, we're going to tame a bunch of water dinos, or at least I will, and surround them around the island. I'm actually pointing, but you can't see my finger. Right ahead, we're going to surround our island with them and then put them um, kind of maybe in like a cage. That way, if we can bola one of their dinosaurs, they'll fall down and then our sharks will kill them. So it'll, it'll be like an extra sting of defense, but a lot of people do not actually like taming water dinos. I don't mind it too much. I'm going to gamma up here. So we're going to see if we can do that. And also, while we're kind of scouting out looking for some sharks here and stuff, I do want to mention we've gotten a lot of people saying like, yo, I only subscribe for your official series, bro. What are you doing? I don't want to watch this crap. 
um, we're, we're still doing it, but I, like I told you in my last video, like I can't just um, do those videos while showing them because uh, basically a lot of you hate me, I feel like. A lot of people are subscribed to me. Like I'll get people that'll watch literally like 10 videos in a row and just comment every one of them and say like huge paragraphs on why it sucks. I'm like, why are you watching that many? But yeah, I got some real big haters out there and those people have official tribes that have tried to follow me. Oh, there's a shark. There's our first shark that have tried to follow me around. They basically just really want to destroy my series and stuff or they just don't like me as a person, which is whatever. But these people make it hard. So what we're doing right now is we have a metal base on a server. We've got several turrets. I'll give this guy a big shout out because you've done most of the work. Um, but I'm going to be going there with a very select few uh, individuals. I will not be opening it up to everyone. We saw what happened last time. A little bit too scary for the majority of people. And um, I, I don't know. I, I just think we need to start out slower. We need to start out softer. Not quite so aggressive there. Um, get built up. And then what I want to do is with a huge army bring you guys in. And then actually start invading official servers for the Chinese people. I want to see if we can like make something happen with them. Because I know people hate the Chinese that play the game. I've been to China. Actually, I love Chinese people. So I don't have anything against them. But their culture is different. And if you didn't know, many Chinese people um, are all about winning, regardless of what it takes. So if you win by cheating, that's just as honorable as winning by um, actually winning. So it doesn't matter how you win. It just matters that you win. And so they're hacking. They do a lot of cheats in games. So I think it'd be awesome to create like an army of lovers that can go in and actually make a good change on the server. I don't want to go in and ruin it. I don't want to wipe any... Is he knocked out? I swear. Oh, he's a level two. Well, you know what? We're going to take it anyway, because whatever... We'll level him up. He'll be like a level 50. It's better than nothing, right? Wow, level 2. I probably shot it like 10 times more than I needed to. That's actually kind of hilarious. What would be nice to get some uh, stingrays too. A little stingray army. But those things are a pain to tame. Anyway, that's our plan. So, if you want to join that, I'm also going to be recruiting... Where'd my... Oh, there he is. Where'd my bird go? Um... I'm going to be recruiting people that I know and trust. People that I've played with in the past. People that I know have done official. That I know can do official without like... Like, you, you can't just go out and suicide bomb with a bird on, a, like, a stone base because it takes forever to get that bird. So many people that understand the difficulties of official, that understand what kind of work it's going to take. And um, along with that, I'm probably going to be doing where I open it up to patrons again. And I know that some of you might not be okay with that. You're like, dude, um, all you want is money. Uh, the real reason is because it's just an easier way to separate you guys. Like, you would not believe how many comments I get every day. How many comments, DMs on Twitter, um, tweets to me, Discord messages. Like, it, it could literally be a full-time job just answering people. And I don't want to hurt your feelings and say, like, hey, you can join and then forget. And so this is just a way to keep organized. Like, a, I think it's like a dollar, five dollars, something like that. Like, really nothing. And that'll just kind of separate you a little bit that way. I know you're serious about playing. I don't have to hurt your feelings. So I hope, I, I know I don't have to justify it, but I hope this helps a little bit. And then, of course, we will be bringing more people in as we go on. But... Oh, I thought I heard something, but I just, I don't want to overload it. You know, I want to make this series. I want to make it good and I need to do it right. And I didn't do it right the first time. Apparently I didn't learn my lesson because I did the same thing on the gone rogue server and it didn't go well either. So that is the plan on the official. So, um, just hang tight. We're still working on it. We're moving in, but I can't make videos on it yet. I can't show any of it yet. We're doing it all in the background. It's how it's gotta be. And then I'm probably going to record it maybe secretly maybe not like right up in your face and then like publish it once we're kind of really established on a server maybe if we get like some spawns blocked or something like that i don't know um but yeah i just you know i want to explain it to you guys a lot of comments about that so i think what we're trying to do the server here is going to be restarting at some point today um thanks to Nit nitrato the the guys actually helped me out and um going to be increasing the difficulty from 0.5 to 5 so we'll be able to find level wild dinos that aren't like level 2 they'll be super high and it'll be really crazy Come on, man. You just need one more piece of meat. Let's go, baby. And this shark isn't eating at all, is he? I think it'd be nice to have, like, a lot of water water dinos because because of our base location, um, you're going to have to basically swim to... Oh, gosh, I'm about out of oxygen. I better go replenish some stamina, too. If you want to come by water, you're not going to be able to get up to the top of our base. Like, the elevator, I don't think will work for you. Maybe it will. But I think it'd be cool if we kind of picked on you with our sharks as you were walking over with your gigas or whatever it is you're bringing. So, um, I don't know. I think it'll be really awesome. Come here, Mr. Dolphin. And also, guys, have you ever seen, I think with Mosas, Mosasauruses, have you guys ever been, like, really deep in the water and seen where there's, like, millions of Mosasauruses? I took a screenshot of it yesterday, and there were literally, like, three to four hundred Mosasauruses just in, like, one spot. I went down there and uh, tried to, like, fix it and, like, despawn a lot of them, because apparently it's a glitch in Ark. Unreal, guys. It was so crazy. It was so crazy. Come here, Mr. Dolphin. Come here. I just want to give you a little food. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I know you're hungry. 
Oh, a level nine. That's what we're talking about. I just gotta get a little closer. I know you're hungry. Come on, come on. Oh, there it is. Itchy's name is Killer. Let's go, Killer. We is that a wild shark or is that our shark? I think that's my shark. We're gonna go around and check that shark out. I think he might be close to tamed by now. But this is cool. I mean, we're getting another couple of things here, and hopefully we can get a giant squid here on video and record that soon. But we'll see what happens. I'm really hoping that my production of videos doesn't drop. The quality stays high with work starting up. Because, man, it's just... To me, personally, I just really enjoy this a lot. You guys know that. Um, so we're trying to get 100,000 this year. So if you haven't subbed, by the way, don't forget to subscribe to me. We're trying to get at least about 500 subs a day right now. That's what we're trying to do to hit my goal. I think 300 will work, but 500 will be comfortable. So if you if you feel like, well, this guy is making ARC videos. I play ARC. That's probably the only thing you need to subscribe, probably. So go ahead and subscribe if you play ARC, right? Um, but I don't know, man. It just it gets me in this mood where I'm just like... I want to spend all day creating, I want to spend all day doing this, inspiring you guys, making you feel good, but sometimes you have to make sacrifices, and sometimes those things that you don't want to do, those things that you just really don't want to be in, those situations you hate, those are the situations that make you a stronger person, but more importantly, those are the situations that motivate you to be where you actually should be. If you're doing something you hate, like working a job you hate, now I don't hate my job by the way, I love it, it's awesome, but like I used to hate a job where I worked in a factory, it was horrible. And if you hate that job, guys, you're going to be figuring out what you want very easily because every moment you're there, you're going to be like, what would I rather be doing? And every moment you're thinking about what you'd rather be doing all the time, eventually you're going to figure it out. Let's level you up. Let's get all movement speed super fast. He'll be like our underwater assassin or something. This guy's almost there. I figure maybe we'll just fly over and wait till he's tamed and then have him follow us back home. Let's go, boys. But that is just something I'm thinking about, man. I try to throw in speeches all the time in my gameplay. I hope a lot of you like it. I know some of you hate it. I don't know why. I don't know why. I feel like they're cool, but maybe some of you hate it. So, we're going to get Mr. Shark right here. Should be coming in a minute. I'm going to have him follow us back to the base. And uh, you can't breed yet, water dinos, can you? I don't think you can. It would be nice to just keep breeding them because taming them is annoying because it's just hard to tame water dinos. But we'll take these guys back. It'll be awesome. All right. How many of you have tamed an Ichisaurus and you tame it and then it gets stuck on land? I feel like that happens to me all the freaking time. Hey, there's a dude. What's up, friendo? How's it going? Hey, pretty good. Farm some polymer. Sounds cool. I got a itchy, but it got stuck on the iceberg, so that's kind of sad. Where? Where? Right, right here. Can yeah. You show me. Right there. I think he got stuck. There. Oh. Um. You should get it loose. It should be possible. Should I hit it? Like Alright, we're gonna try to hit it and see if we can get it out of here. Oh, I'm actually freezing to death. I'll, was, I'll catch you later. I'm about to freeze. Shark, yeah. yeah, that's mine. Peace out, son. <laughs> I'm actually really hurting. I say freeze to death, but my health's only halfway down. I'm gonna actually just make a shark saddle and a uh, itchy saddle. I've never seen that guy before, but man, I love these accents in the server. I love how worldwide we are. It's so awesome. I think it's cool. What do you guys... Actually, serious question right now. Um... What do you think of American accents? Like, if you're not from America, like, I've always wondered. Because, like, here, like, a girl hears, like, a British accent or an Australian accent. And they're like, ooh, that's the coolest thing ever. What do you think of American accents? Are they actually, like, weird? Like, I've heard people think they're weird. Some people say they sound like dogs barking when we talk. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's true. But I've wondered, what's your, what's your American accent opinion? Because I feel like Americans just, I don't know. They're not as cool. They're not as foreign. They're just not there yet. Let's get that meat. Heal up a little bit. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to go craft some saddles. I don't really know how much material you have in here. I think you can craft the um, Megalodon saddle. I need hide fiber and cementing paste. All right. Whoa, look at this. That's been cleaned out. Oh, my goodness. Was someone cleaning last night? Usually that's what I do <laughs> when I'm on late. I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm just going to clean and organize chests. A little bit of hide. A little bit of, what else? Fiber and cementing paste? All right, two brand new saddles made. Let's go suit up our boys. I should probably, oh, is this armor also? Oh yeah, I was gonna say, I should probably put some fur armor on because I'm kind of like freezing out there with this stuff. Maybe I keep the Ascendant boots on. Um, those Ascendant boots are from the drop mod, uh, the better beacons mod, so that thing's really, really awesome. Um, it actually makes the drops worth, what do I have that weighs so much right now? Oh, 10 parachutes, that's pretty heavy. 30. I didn't think parachutes weigh that much though. Oh, I thought I lost both of them. Here is the shark. 
and the dolphin. Both of them look like they're completely trapped right now. But maybe if I get a saddle and I can knock them out. Let's see. I hope so, man. I hope so. This is one of the most annoying glitches in the game. And let's do... Uh, we're probably going to need some stamina so we can actually make it back. Oh! 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 He weighs so much. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like it. Let's increase that a little smidgen. Let's go. Oh, wow. That's... Mm, that's not going to work too well. Let's get the itchy saddle on. Maybe we can make the... Maybe we can make the itchy way enough. <laughs> Since he's a higher level, I'm not sure. What's his weight? 216. Nah, we gotta go on movement speed on this boy. Oh, it's working. Let's go. Let's go, birdies. We're going back, boys. We got a little train of dinos coming with us now. So awesome. There's a wolf. I'm a big fan of the ocean um, in this game just because I feel like it's got a lot of potential, but I don't think it's all taken advantage of quite yet. I feel like if they add a more versatile way to get resources in ocean biomes like if you want to live in an underwater cave it's a pain to get your resources down there i think they need to make a way here comes mr sharky make a way for you to get those hard to get resources at least some of them narcotics wood thatch like all that's basically impossible to get along with a lot of land dinos you can't use you can't use harvesting dinos down there it's a pain so i hope they add a little bit more to these biomes just kind of make them more full like it's so empty out here. There needs to be like plankton or just something that kind of gives it a little bit of life. Because Ark does a really good job of making the environments feel full. A lot of the environments on land, one of the reasons I love this game is because the land environments are actually like packed with plants, packed with things in them. And uh, here in the water, it's just so empty. There's like nothing out here, you know? Oh, where's my other shark at? Yo, where's my other shark? I don't like that. Well, we'll keep these two here. And hope that he might he might have died maybe another shark came up but i generally don't see uh dangerous creatures in this area usually i feel like they don't come up this shallow maybe they do all right all right that was pretty awesome it actually looks like most of my tribes offline right now i guess that's what's happened that's what happens when you live in like completely different parts of the planet like complete opposite sides i think i'm not really sure um what their time zone different is but i think it's i think it's pretty significant compared to me right people are arguing about some stuff block and metal spawns so while that's going on i figure let's plant a few plant x here um because i just feel like it's necessary to have a couple more up i've been working on this here and there and i'm pretty sure where are my plant x i'm pretty sure natural rain is actually enough to keep these alive without any sort of like um water system so like these i planted a couple days ago they're not irrigated but it snows enough that i think it takes care of them so pretty cool i guess we should just kind of start on this side and work our way over uh, something i do a lot is just to kind of sporadically place plant x i don't really have a system but thanks to the s plus crop plots i can pretty easily place them around like they really snap in well and they like snap under turrets so i mean i think it's a cool design i like it a lot so while we're doing this guys this is something that has nothing to do with arc nothing really inspirational at all i just want to say i've spent the last like week almost with my girlfriend and I never get to see her because we go to different schools. We, we were like really far apart from each other. And it was just amazing to see her for that long. And she just left like an hour ago. And frankly, I feel horrible right now because it just sucks when she leaves. It sucks you don't get to see her when you love someone so much. And then they're just out of your life for who knows how long. Goes back to school. I go to work. You get busy. It's so hard, man. That is like we all have our own struggles. We all have things that we just can't do, things that hurt us, things that just suck. For me, man, that is one of the biggest things. It is so difficult to wake up every day. You love them. You have the best times of your life with them. You are so happy with them. And then the next thing you know, they are out of your life for weeks, months, however long it takes till you can see each other, man. It is difficult. Those of you in longer distance relationships, you know how it is. I know this isn't something I normally talk about. I try to keep it positive, but I'm fresh off the emotional roller coaster. She just left, and I'm just like, inside, I'm like hurting a little bit, man. It is rough. So those of you that are uh, whatever challenges you're facing right now, you guys, you just got to push through them. It'll be better. I think it'll be worth it. Um, like for my situation, the way I see it is right now we're pushing really hard. I'm trying to I'm trying to do something with YouTube. I want to I wanna be somewhere with this. You guys know that that's my dream, and I hope one day I can get there. And she's pushing so hard to be a, a 3D modeler in gaming. And we're just pushing as hard as we can to try to get that life that we want. The life we both know we can get. And that means you got to make sacrifices for it. So whatever it is you want, guys, know that it's not going to come easy. You're going to have to do things you've never done to get something you've never had. I love you guys. I will see you all tomorrow. And I hope you're having an awesome day.